19th of December, we are getting close to the end of this. So, let's get you in there. And pop. That should be fine. Hold you steady, get a finger in, and what are we looking at? We are looking at the Skull D12. Ooh. One closer for the Skull set. This one might actually be decently balanced. See, <clears throat> the thing is, when you do clear resin with stuff inside, if that stuff is exactly in the middle of the die, it's fine because that means that the weight is equally balanced out amongst the sides that the die could possibly land on. And as spoken about, with the eye, which is not balanced at all, more weight means that a die is more likely to land on the side that is land, land face down with the side that is weighted down. So, for example, with with the the I set, uh, with a D6 here, that has a ten that would, if my theory about these dies being as unbalanced as I think they are, that would mean that since the weight, which means anything extra inside a clear resin die, is on the side with the six, this die is very unlikely to roll the highest number, and the fact that. For all of these die, that is also the case. Well, except the D4. The D4 has the eye being pressed against... Yeah, well, well, it will still roll the lowest, so... All of these eyes are bad. And I presume that they are unbalanced, but... Well, when I get back from visiting my parents during the holiday, I will do the salt water test I'll explain how it works, and I'll show it off in practice using not only the eye set, but also the skull set, and I think also the set that I expect to be the most balanced, which is, well, I don't know what to call this set. Mm, purple, fog, swirly, yellow time, something? I don't know. Either way, I will see you tomorrow.